Today we are making incredibly delicious and super easy lemon curd. This lemon curd goes beautifully with so many different types of desserts and is great for filling cakes and cupcakes. Let's do this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to prepare our eggs. So I'm starting off by cracking two whole eggs into the saucepan that I'm going to be making my lemon curd in. And then I'm going to separate the yolks and whites from three eggs so I can use the three yolks in my curd. Now don't throw away the whites, you can use it for something like Swiss meringue buttercream or macarons or even just add it to an omelette you might be making. I probably should have taken off my ring for this but that's okay, it's just for- oh. oh! Oh gosh. Okay, so I've got my whites and my yolks in separate bowls now and I'm going to go ahead and add my three yolks that I've got into my saucepan and then wash my hands because they're all slimy at the moment. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of lemon rind into my saucepan and this is just going to add an extra nice zesty flavour to our curd. Okay, so I've got all my zest in there now and now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my sugar. And before I add the rest of my ingredients, I'm going to give this all a little whisk. Now you can totally do this with a hand whisk if you want, but today I'm using my electric mixer because my arthritis is kind of getting to my hands and they're super sore today, so I'm using my electric mixer. <laughs> So you just want to mix this for about a minute or so until it's slightly lighter in colour. By giving your mixture a good whisk, it's going to 1. help with the creamy texture, 2. is that it's going to help release some of the oils from the lemon rind, which is going to give you a deeper flavour. Okay, so that is looking pretty good now, and now the next thing to do is to add in our lemon juice. So you're going to need about two thirds of a cup of lemon juice. Now to get out the seeds, I'm just squeezing my lemon straight on top of a strainer so that the strainer catches those seeds as my juice is coming out. So I'm squeezing about three lemons, which should give me the amount of lemon juice that I need. Now you really want to stick to using fresh lemons, not the store-bought lemon juice, because you're just not going to get the same freshness and flavour that you do get when you're using fresh lemons. Now once you're all done, add your lemon juice to your mixture along with half a teaspoon of vanilla. The vanilla is optional but I do really like the taste that it brings to the lemon curd. Now I'm just mixing that all together with a spatula and the spatula is what I'm going to use while I cook my curd. I prefer using a spatula when cooking my curd because it just makes sure that nothing's kind of sticking to the bottom of the pan and it helps me get into kind of all the little corners of the pan. Okay now we are at the crucial part of making your lemon curd and rule number one, make sure you're cooking it on a very low heat. If your stovetop doesn't have the option of a very low heat setting then I would recommend doing this over a double boiler. So I've got my cooker on the lowest setting and now I'm just going to continue to stir this mixture as it thickens up. It's really important to cook this low and slow because you don't want to overcook your eggs otherwise you're going to end up with scrambled eggs which we don't want. So you basically just want to keep stirring this until it starts to thicken up and coats the back of your spoon. So you can see now that my curd has thickened up and it's coating the back of my spoon so I'm going to turn off the heat at this point and now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a half cup of cold butter that I've cut into little cubes. This is going to help cool the mixture down and stop our curd from cooking as well as add extra creaminess and flavour to our curd. So once all your butter is melted in you're basically done with your curd but there is one last step which is optional and it's to strain your curd. So this is just going to help it become a super silky smooth texture. And that is basically it. You're left with some beautiful, silky smooth, super delicious lemon curd. So if you're using this as a cake or cupcake filling and you're just waiting for it to cool down, then cover the top with some cling wrap like this. It'll just prevent a skin from forming as it cools down. Otherwise, you can pour it straight into a jar and cover it up. At the moment, it's still a little runny, but as it cools down, it's going to thicken up even more. So here is some lemon curd that I made earlier. I still don't think it's completely set, but as you can see, it's much thicker in consistency. Now another quick tip, if your lemon curd is tasting a little bit metallic, then it could be because the lemon is having a chemical reaction with whatever you're cooking or storing your lemon curd in. So this often happens with metal, so if you are having this problem, then stay away from metal pots and pans. And now a quick little taste test. 
Mmm, so, so good. I could literally eat this whole bowl. It's got this beautiful tarty flavor to it and it's like super rich and creamy as well. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up below and subscribe if you did. Apart from that, I'll see you in the next one.